Hi, welcome to MathSpace. Is this your first time here? If you have your username and password, you can log in at the top right of the screen. Once you're logged in, you'll be taken straight to your very own personal MathSpace dashboard. This is the place you'll find what homework your teacher has set for you, your in-class exercises, and your maths workbook. From the dashboard, you can also customise your page with your choice of wallpaper, icons, spend credits, and much more. So let's check it out. If your teacher is assigned homework or classwork, it will always be displayed here on your dashboard. You can also look back on any work you've completed recently. Make sure you finish your homework on time or you'll lose 10% of your mark for every day you're late. On the dashboard, you can also click on the All Topics tab, where you'll be able to choose any topic and then subtopic you want to work on in your own time. OK, let's do some work. Let's do two-step equations. The traffic lights at the top of your screen represent the number of questions in the exercise and even tell you how well you've completed each of them. Red tells you your answer is incorrect. A yellow light means you're partially correct and a green light means you're 100% correct. One of the cool things about MathSpace is that you can type maths. To type a fraction, you can use the fraction button in the shortcut toolbar. If you hover over any of the buttons, you'll see shortcuts you can use for each of the functions. For example, if you want to type a fraction, the slash key automatically converts your number into a fraction. You can also use your arrow keys to tab between numerator and denominator if things need to be changed. And once you're happy with your answer, just hit enter. The yellow tick means that the answer is correct, but the question hasn't been fully completed just yet. So keep going. If you get stuck in the middle of a question, don't worry. You can just click the hint button for help to get to the next step. And if you still don't know what to do, you can simply click next step. And so every difficult question becomes a fully worked solution. Try and do the work yourself though. Every time you use the next step button, you'll lose some marks. Once you've given the answer in its simplest form, you'll get a green tick. Just hit enter to move on to the next question. You can click on finish to submit an exercise, but you'll receive zero for any questions you've skipped. If you want to finish it later, just save your work so that the next time you log in, you can resume right where you left off. MathSpace analyzes each student's individual results and formulates a plan that is best suited to you. So if you're not sure what to do next, just do one of our recommended exercises. MathSpace also automatically stores revision questions for you whenever you make a mistake, so you can try the question over and over again. Because remember, practice makes perfect. The only way of getting questions out of your revision folder is to try it again and get it right. The revision folder is a great place to visit just before exams because you'll be focusing your study on questions you found difficult. For an overview of how you're going so far, click on the report card tab. The green bar shows your progress for each topic. A subtopic is only considered complete when you've achieved a score of 70% or above, which earns you a bronze medal. Clicking on any of your subtopic scores takes you to your scorecard, which shows your full working for that exact exercise. It even tells you where you've used a hint or a next step. Cool, that's pretty much all you need to know to get you started. If you have any questions, problems or ideas you want to share with us, just hit the feedback button. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoy using MathSpace and check out our other videos for more tips.